Hello, this is Buffy. I just wanted to say um, today I'm doing a a very, very important video that it's not necessarily I'm having, you know, I've been going over everything I've talked about, about eating disorder. I've been uh, thinking about everything that I've discussed with you guys just so you guys can learn and cope with it and understand it. And sorry, I have my cross with me. I'm having a little bit uh, one of those uh, rotten days, if you could think of. Uh, but I'm not going to let it uh, um, get me down because I am positive that I'm going to get better. And right now, um, it's not easy. So, I decided to do this video and uh, the last five segment of uh, eating disorder is because I struggle it every day. Um, and the fact is, I want to get the word out because it's not just you know, with me, I go through a lot of stress. I go through a lot of depression. I have a huge buffet full of food on my plate. And the fact is that we discuss everything I did in my presentation, just to show you guys the illustration, the understanding of, and most, and I just come to think of it, I think I do those for me because I needed to open myself up more. And to express you guys that we're going to get, uh, this is not, uh, uh, it's one of those days that you have a rotten day. It's one of those days you're going to have a good day. And my day hasn't been right at all. Um, I got so much, on, uh, I, uh, I can't even imagine to tell you how much I have on my plate that is so far off the stress level uh, chart. If you can think of it, it's like way above, you know, that meter way blowing up. So I um, thought maybe if I were to explain of who I am, my reason why I did these uh, presentations uh, and have them on YouTube for a reason is that because I needed to get the awareness out, uh, I needed to get that uh, I'm having these issues and um, because of the stress and everything, I've been taking pills. And just because of the, uh, the pills itself um, is affecting a lot of things, uh, I'm going to find out what's going on uh, in the next day or two. And the fact is that it's taking all the energy out of me right now. Um, I, it's kind of like, you know, you got you got a skill. Do you want this or this? And the fact is... I, I'd rather have this where I can have happy and not this, uh, well, actually the other way around. I'd rather have this as happy, this, get rid of the negative, get rid of the, all of that stuff so it goes down. And I feel that the power of prayer of everybody else can do their thing. Because I want you guys to see, just because I um, I express it, but sometimes when you have to go through obstacles and challenges, you're gonna have rotten days. And then when you get through that rotten days, you don't know uh, what it's gonna be like tomorrow. Um, I live on day to day. I don't know what's going to happen. Every day is a, is a blessing. Um, I do have, uh, because of the pills, it's affected on my eating, but normally before the pills, I actually eat pretty well and pretty well good. And I think it's because of the pills that causes me, um, to have no appetite. I have no, um, taste bud. Um, 
I take it for anxiety and also depression. I suffer those two things. And if I can get this out to people, have it posted, just so everybody can see of how much pain, you know, getting through the first obstacle. And once I get through the first obstacle, then I can talk about the next one and the next and the next because it's 10 steps, not a 12 step program like another thing, but it's more like a 10 step um, uh, you know, there's that 10 obstacle you got to get through the first one it's like the hardest and you got to get through the second one it's kind of get uh, it, you know the first one's really really hard and the second one's a little hardest and then it keeps going up until it gets easier and so that that way you guys can get the actual understanding of why I discuss about the eating disorder why I take it so much to my heart is so you guys can understand it's not because I do it by choice. It's because it, it doesn't go away. And I'm going to get through it. Because I, I know I'm strong. And I have to get my feelings out. Because I just need prayers. Um, Anybody out there, I don't know who they are above on my friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. Um, but, you know, I think that other people out there, I'm doing this so other people out there can understand. And what is eating disorder? How much does it affect you? What to, what's it take it over? Um, it takes over your body. Um, it takes over your emotions. It takes away everything before you start feeling good about yourself again. And I've tried to do everything I can to be positive and I've been doing it for the last five, well, six videos. So this is like shows you the worst of what eating disorder causes you. And I think it's important that you all know that it's not an easy process. We don't go through, uh, it takes time to go through the first steps. It takes time to go through the second. And I think this is the most important video that I can put together because this is at my breaking point. Okay. Once I get through the breaking point and to express my feelings to you guys, and I told myself and told you guys that when you have issues, don't be afraid to post them. Don't be afraid to blog about your life. Don't be afraid to do videos because this way you can see what it does in action. And... I hope that everything I talked about in the last five presentation and a thank you, that this will empower you to get it, you know, to understand. I'm going to get you know, everybody gets through it in, in one way or another. Is all all we need is support, therapy, and everything else. If we can find a way to take all the stress off our plate, it will do a much better job on our health. If all ask. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> go ahead and um, close right now with uh, a huge thank you for everybody who's stick with me, who's watched all my videos, because it is very important for me to understand what cause, you know, what, what is the worst point of the awareness of eating disorder? I thought I was done about it. I thought I was actually done talking about it. Well, I kind of kind of backpedal and gone back into it again. So I, I can't really move on to my next segment until I get through this one and understand it is awareness that I take to my heart and it's a compassion for other people who are going through it. It's not easy step. I mean, yeah, the pills I'm on is harder for me to eat. It's not because I'm having eating disorder by choice. Like I said, it's just, it, um, it's doing everything right now. My whole body is doing like a real uh, roller coaster ride all day. I feel like I'm on this uh, roller coaster. Uh, I'm not really gotten off of it. And my head, uh, it, it's, your whole head feels like it's going to explode. Um, but you know, one thing I do is I pray. I, I do breathing exercise. I do 
Uh, the fact is, um, you know, I, I, I just try to take control over my body, like I mentioned in, in part four, because I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm smart. I am all that. And I'm much more happier than ha uh, having to be so much in pain. And I, uh, I know there's a, a um, light at the end of the tunnel. Because sometimes I feel like I'm in the darkest places in the tunnel. Um, because this one, you kind of get into it and you don't feel like getting out. I am going to find my way out. I don't care what people get in my way or how much negative people can throw at me. That right there, you're not going to get through my head. I've been taking, I've been listening to a guy, I'm not going to mention his name, and he's on YouTube, and he's one of the great, you know, motivation speaker, one of them, you know, there's many of them, and uh, he has inspired me. He showed me everything, and it's very understandable, because you know what, he's right. And also, he has helped me calm down when I watch his video on YouTube, on my TV, all the time. But every time I watch him, I think of the fact that he's helped me out. It's like a short therapy. And now I can kind of hear him in my head, uh, calming myself down, because I am going to get through this. But I want to give a huge, humongous, beyond, beyond infinity times infinity. Thank you for all you guys uh, viewing all my videos, uh, seeing at my worst now, um, as as day goes on and progressing, you're going to see the best of me. And I'm going to get better, like I did in my thank you video. Just because we smile doesn't mean we have no pain in our side. And I want you guys to see, when people smile, they are hurtful and they are hurt inside. But it is a healing process that I'm putting myself through. And I, I have the urge to uh, get myself out there because I want people to understand that they're not alone. It is not easy. The world is nothing but messed up with nothing but negative. If we could turn the world around and go positive, we'll be much happier and stress and all pain free if we can have it that way. Again, thank you all. My name is Buffy again. You can find me at um, Facebook if you want to ask me questions or, uh, you know, uh, uh, give me, send me prayers, whatever. I'm at www.facebook.com slash ask a S K Buffy Pribble, last name P R I B B L E. Please, I I urge you to like the page, get on it. Don't be afraid to ask me any questions because you know what? The more stuff you guys throw at me, you're gonna help me out, get through it. And that's why I'm asking you guys, go to that, and I'm on Twitter, Buffy Pribble. The more you reach out, you are the one. Or an angel and that's what we are we're all angel and thank you all so much with bottom of my heart for listening and I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna be happy 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 <laughs> besides I have a dream house to build I can't uh, you know I have a lot um, and the dream house is quite a big one and I don't know if, it, if anybody can handle it <laughs> it's bigger than you think so I have a goal, and I have, uh, I said to myself today, my uh, thing is I'm knowledgeable. Um, I also said that I'm not going to let negative thoughts get into my head, and I'm not going to mention a book that I've got coming, but it is a book that is good, uh, is I, I'm really passionate about, and I'm going to go and post on Twitter because I know where, uh, where to find him. 
and and he, send him a huge thanks and all his videos that he's done for me. And if he can watch this video and, sh and he knows the difference he made for me, he is a, such a greatest man I have ever seen on TV. And touches people's lives. And he's done thousands. I mean, we're talking over nine, maybe ten, nine over 900 videos. He put a lot of work in for you guys. And I, I, I commend his huge thanks for him of everything he's done because he is my coach. He is my savior and he has help, helped me out a lot. And I think he will know who, uh, who I'm talking about when he talk, if he ever watches my video. Anyways, um, thank you again for all your guys' time because it means a lot to me. And always remember, it is a lifestyle change. There's no diet. Eating disorder is a disease, but it does not affect me 100%. And I'll ask, is prayer, and I'm going to get through it. The reason I have this cross in my hand is because I'm showing you that I'm, I'm in a serious, dire need of praying you know, having God with me at all times. He is my strength and he has given me lots of such great, you know, blessings, three kids, all girls. And the fact is, I thank you, every one of you guys. Have a great day and I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you.